what is the career path of Oracle Functional Consultant? So here I have just noted down a career path that a functional consultant potentially goes in a large organization. In a smaller organization, you will have a shorter roles in terms of the titles I have listed over here. So the first role is a trainee or an intern that a consultant takes up which is where he get hands-on training into Oracle applications and once he learns that then he would take up the role of a junior functional consultant. A junior functional consultant will work as a shadow with a functional consultant or a senior functional consultant and while shadowing these senior people they would learn how to implement Oracle applications with the client because they don't have that experience of implementation. Now the shadowing part could be done conversely as well for example the junior functional consultant would be client facing and the functional consultant and senior functional consultant will shadow them. In other words these senior consultants will be in the background and the client face will be this person but it involves a lot of risk because if the client is not happy then they would not get the deliverables on time and it could potentially miss the project milestones hence usually this guy is in the background assisting the senior guys okay so the next role after a functional consultant is a senior functional consultant depends on the seniority in larger organization a senior role comes after say five years of experience so a junior functional consultant is of a role let's say around one to two years of experience a functional consultant is a role from two to five years of experience in implementing or supporting Oracle applications then a senior functional consultant role comes after five years so five to eight years and then after eight years a team leader role comes into picture increasingly I am seeing that the role of a team leader is getting merged with a solution architect so a solution architect is what he looks after the end-to-end -end solution plus he also mentors a team of functional consultant so a solution architect mentors functional consultant from finance side procurement side HRMS side CRMS side and then he works with these guys to give an end-to-end -end solution to the client so in other words he is responsible for not only giving a functional end-to-end -end solution but also mentoring the functional consultant because this is a role which is just created to mentor that functional consultant team but as I said increasingly this role is getting omitted because it's been seen as an additional role which is taken by off late solution architects. Then this solution architect in, in this functional stream is called as a functional solution architect. This role could also be synonymous with a title such as technical solution manager or technical manager or technical oracle project manager. So these roles are synonymous these titles are synonymous then a project manager comes into picture a project manager is a role which ideally should have expert technical knowledge plus commercial knowledge so this person is responsible for managing the entire project so managing the project management plan working with the functional consultants, functional solution architect, technical consultants, technical solution architect, integration consultants, database consultants as well as the client team. So this role is a person who deals with many many parties but as far as Oracle functional career path is concerned as I said a solution architect sometimes is synonymous with a technical project manager so the next role of a solution architect could be a technical project manager but at this stage this person is supposed to have some commercial knowledge as well so that he can advise the client on 
the commercial aspect of implementation. So this role as an example, let's say the client has come and he says that initially we agreed to implement channel ledger, account receivables, auto management, advanced pricing, shipping and purchasing modules along with payables. But now what they would like to do is they would like to also implement let's say enterprise fixed assets module or enterprise asset management module which is also called as EAM so that means there is a change and that change can impact the project delivery lines and it could impact the commercials in other words one has to get new resources to, to do the study the requirement gathering for EAM module then to map it into Oracle then to get a solution from the client and then it could also mean that whatever has been done in the project so far would be impacted so someone has to do the impact analysis so the reason why I'm telling you this is this is like a change request and it's the job of a project manager to advise the client as to how much money will go into this change and before agreeing to accept this change request from the client a change request approval must be signed with by the client approving the funding for the project that gets impacted out of the change so that's a simple example apart from that this person is responsible for many other commercial activities so in summary this person must have a knowledge of both technical as well as functional aspect in very large organizations you will have two kinds of project manager one is a commercial project manager who looks after the commercial aspect of projects such as maintaining the project management plan you know liaising with all the parties to make sure the project is on time on budget and on quality and the second role in project manager would be a technical project manager which will be higher role after solution architect who will work very closely with commercial project manager to manage the technical aspect of an implementation project but even those technical project manager should know some know-how of the commercial aspect so that he could advise the project managers so anyway so that's the next role and after that as the project manager gains a couple of years of experience these titles comes into picture such as a senior project manager an enterprise architect so senior project manager is a role which is just right next to this role let's say after gaining anywhere between 10 to 15 years of experience and on the functional stream if you look at let's say here you've got the title as technical project manager so the next role of a technical project manager could be enterprise architect in fact in some organizations under the functional stream this role is not there at all so in such a case the next role after solution architect is an enterprise architect who manages a team of solution architect and who manages an end-to-end -end functional as well as technical solution for the whole of the enterprise he's a very big man he's like a CIO in fact I would say almost like a CIO because the next role of an enterprise architect usually is a CIO whereas the next role for a senior project manager is a project director so as you would see there is a project wording in the title so in other words this kind of role is specific to a project so after a senior project manager one can be a project director who is responsible for looking after everything for one project or multiple projects so he will have authority of the project and he will report to the practice manager so the project roles ends over here the practice manager roles comes out of the project role so all these roles are linked to the projects whereas a practice manager will look after the whole of oracle practice for example hiring firing oracle consultant let's say acl as a company who is specializing in oracle applications will be hiring a number of technical functional consultant to implement oracle applications at 
their end clients. So who would look after their hiring and firing? It could be a practice manager who would work with the recruitment consultants to get the resources from the market, filter them and then bring on board. And then a practice manager role is to make sure that the resources are placed in projects and they are beneficial to the company. In other words, if they are on project, they will get revenue to the company. They are revenue generating uh, resources and then it will benefit the company in the long run. And if the resources are on bench, in other words, they are not working on a project, then he will be the one who would liaise with other regions, practice managers or other clients or other project directors to make sure the resources on bench gets placed. So this is more of a commercial role rather than a technical role, but this person also have some knowledge of Oracle applications. So in a larger organization, this role is taken up by these kind of people like senior project manager or project director, they get promoted as a practice manager. And usually the experience range for this kind of a role is around 12 to 15 years. And then the next role in the hierarchy is practice director. So a practice manager reports to a practice director. So practice director is director for the entire Oracle practice who looks after all these resources which are in the chain as I have shown you. And this person is responsible for generating revenue for the entire practice to be sustainable in the organization. Unless a revenue is generated, this person will be questioned by the CIO as to what's happening, why your practice is not generating enough revenue what are the challenges you are facing. This person is also responsible for giving approvals for different kinds of internal hirings and including salary approvals and so on. So this is a very senior role. Then comes the CIO. As I said, for a small to medium enterprise, you don't they don't have these roles called as practice managers or practice directors, especially when those organizations are end users of Oracle applications. They don't have these roles. These roles are mostly for consulting organizations who are specialist consulting companies providing consulting services in Oracle applications. Whereas for end users organizations, they have such roles as CIO. So, the next role after enterprise architect is CIO. In such organizations, they don't have these specialist roles. In fact, this project director also is not there. What they have is usually the functional consultant, senior functional consultant, solution architect, a project manager, enterprise architect, and CIO. So five levels of hierarchy. Anyway, that's the functional career path of an Oracle consultant. So let's say once you start your career, you're a fresh graduate, you're here. After two to three years, you can look yourself to be over here. If at all, you are an experienced Oracle professional or if you're an experienced end user and you want to start a new career in Oracle applications, then you can see yourself over here to start with. And after, let's say one to two years, after gaining one implementation experience, you can look yourself over here. So in around three to four years time, you can be here. Then around three to five years time, you can see yourself over here when you have two to three implementation project experience in your portfolio. And then after gaining another two to three years of experience, you can look yourself as a team leader. So which is an experience range of around six to eight years. And the same thing holds good for solution architect. As I said, this role is these days getting omitted. And then between a solution architect and an enterprise architect, you're looking at anywhere between another three to five years of experience working as a solution architect. And then from solution architect to a technical project manager, they are synonymous roles. So not much of a difference between these two roles. And then you've got a senior project manager role, which will un take another three years to be here so you can see yourself around 10 to 12 years of experience you can be here and this person should ideally have you know 10 to 15 years of experience 
and a project director is more of a commercial role rather than a technical role so after a commercial project manager the next role is a project director likewise the practice manager and practice director role they are more of commercial roles so they don't really require too much of a technical oracle experience in fact i have seen a number of sales people working in these roles who have got prior sales experience in the industry simply don't have any oracle background at all i have seen them but then it ends up in a lot of challenges to the organizations because they don't understand oracle language and end up in getting on to situations out of control so it's always a good idea that these two roles have got some oracle experience so that they can understand how the other roles or how the project implementation works what are the challenges faced in oracle applications implementation project and so on and as i said earlier this role cio comes immediately after enterprise architect role so you could be looking around 15 to 20 years of experience to achieve this role so this in short is the oracle functional consultant career path in a large to very large organization